selfie camera 4k 30 fps on 14 ultra sadly it's only 1080p on 13 ultra from what i can see they do doing pretty well in terms of stabilization i think colors looking very similar uh, but let's switch to 60 fps now still recording in 4k on xiaomi 14 ultra again 1080p on 13 ultra only this is stabilization dynamic range yeah they're sometimes a bit struggling but it's it's looking not too bad in my opinion but let's take some selfies now I am using movie mode on Xiaomi 14 Ultra. Sadly, this option is not available on 13 Ultra. It is great because, you know, I'm using different filters, different logs that you can choose from. And by the way, this is the quality, the sound quality that is coming from both of these devices. Now, as you can see, there is 23 millimeter available for portrait photography. You know, that ultra wide angle here. 35 is just the widest field of view they can get which is a bit of shame however let me show you my favorite feature is actually the the fact that we can choose the high resolution on all the three or four lenses sorry so let's ho have a look at that quality now Okay, well let's start with stabilization test. This is 4K 60 FPS on both. This is the quality, this is stabilization. And I, what I love about the 14 Ultra that I can switch between the lenses during recording. Sadly, this option is not available on 13 Ultra, I'm afraid. So every time I want to switch to the older lens, I have to stop and re-record again, which is a bit of shame. Okay, I'm using motion tracking option. Let me know if it's actually tracking me. I'm using main sensor. Let me know. There is dedicated macro mode for video and for pictures on both. However, Xiaomi 14 Ultra has an advantage because it uses all the lenses for pictures and there's a main sensor here for video. However, there's only ultra wide angle available for video and main sensor for taking pictures or 13 ultra. But let's have a look at the pictures now. What I really like here on Xiaomi 14 Ultra, that HDR mode, which I'm using now, is available on all the lenses. Sadly, uh, Xiaomi 13 Ultra has this option just on the main sensor. 
uh, and it's great because you can change the resolution from 4K, 1080p, you name it. There is even um, 4K 24 frames per second. So these are the colors. I mean, look at this, how smoothly you can just switch between the lenses. They definitely need to do this on other devices because, you know, competition is capable of doing that for quite some time now. Video quality at night. This is ultra wide angle. It is pretty bright night, I have to say. You can actually see the moon. And uh, both devices have the moon zoom option available, uh, which I'm gonna try later on. This is main sensor. This is the quality. Times two that digital zoom. Looking good. It is really hard for me to tell on a small screen which one's actually better. 3.2 optical zoom. Looking pretty good. And this is times five, optical zoom, looking good. Both devices have night video mode, which I'm using now. And it's pretty amazing because it's 4K, 24 frames per second. So the quality should be pretty good. I mean, they are using main sensors on both. Uh, so what do you think? But let me switch to selfie camera and compare the quality. I mean, you can clearly see the difference. I am shooting 4K on 14 Ultra, only 1080p on 13 Ultra. Well, let's take some selfies now. Both devices have long exposure photography options, uh, which is always a good thing. Well, let's check on some results now.